Hi, this is Jessica Lopez. This video will be about how to integrate your WebAssign course with your um, Canvas course. So I am already logged into my WebAssign courses. Here you will notice that I have two um, courses for the fall 2021 semester. Um, you should already have your courses set up in WebAssign. They would have been copied over to you using a master course. And so you should already have them in WebAssign. So my first step would be to suggest that you log into WebAssign and verify that you actually have courses with the corresponding section numbers. You will need that information to link the correct WebAssign course with the correct Canvas course, okay? So in the co-requisite model, you do have two different Canvas shells. You have a remedial Canvas shell and then you have the college algebra Canvas shell. The department recommends that you import your WebAssign course into the college algebra Canvas course, okay? You can post a page later in the developmental portion of it and just state that the assignment links can be found in the College Algebra um, Canvas course, okay? So you cannot link it in both. You can only link your one web assigned course to one um, Canvas course. So you won't be able to um, embed that this one course into both the 314 and the 1414. You have to just choose one and the department recommends that you choose the college level, okay? So that's one thing that I needed to mention. The second thing I need to mention is when you do receive your, your courses, you are going to receive um, copies of every assignment. And if you're teaching more than one section of a course, like, for me example, I'm teaching two sections of the same co-rec course. Um, so in that case, these two assignments are the same. So if I go to homework one P.3 and this homework one P.3, they're exactly the same. If I make edits to this one, it's gonna automatically edit the other one, okay? Um, however, if you have another 1414, it's a standalone, that one would not get affected because that's its own course with its own assignments, which you also get your own copy of, but those assignments are not linked or tagged with these assignments here, okay? So your sections will have the same exact assignments. Um, just basically two different grade books inside WebAssign and inside Canvas. So I just wanted to cover that so that you were aware. You can make edits to these things, and, um, and keep a log of any suggestions that you have for changes to the course as the fall semester progresses. Because at the end of the semester, I will be providing a link for everyone to share um, any suggestions that they have for me to change the master, okay? So as you're going through the semester, just keep a log of anything that you'd like to see changed in there. Um, and we'll discuss those and make the changes for the spring semester. Okay, with all that said, I have already linked my Section 61 course as a practice, and luckily I had another one to um, use to make this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and link my Section 186 with my Canvas course 186. So the first thing you wanna do is log into Canvas, of course, um, and then identify the course that you're trying to link with WebAssign. And so like I mentioned, we do not want to link the remedial portion of um, section 186. We want to select the college level um, course. And so the first thing you need to do is go scroll all the way down to the bottom and click settings in the left navigation bar. Um, from there, you wanna scroll down and you wanna locate the Cengage tool. Now there is another tool called Cengage Unlimited Institutional. This is not the tool that we're going to use. We're going to use just the one that says Cengage and that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this up to the top. You can place it anywhere you'd like. 
I like to put it up to the top near the home just so that it's easily accessible later. And then don't forget to click save at the bottom so that it saves it here in the navigation bar. So now I have my Cengage button on the navigation bar, okay? So I'm gonna click on the Cengage bar. And if this is the first time you're ever clicking on that Cengage bar, it will require you to log in using your Cengage credentials, which are the same credentials that you would use to log into WebAssign. So if you had done step one and already verified your WebAssign courses and the section numbers, um, you should already know those credentials to sign in to Cengage at this point, okay? Now I did mention that I had already practiced using that Cengage tool with my section 61 course. So of course, when I come here to the second course, I don't need to sign in to Cengage again because I've already done that, okay? And so from this menu, what you wanna select is you wanna select add homework platform. You can add the, the uh, Cengage Infuse. If you know a little bit about that, you know, you can use it in the LMS if you want to. You can also just download the ebook all by itself. However, for department purposes, we want you to at minimum download the homework platform plus ebook. Okay, so I'm gonna go add homework platform. And then you're gonna wanna select the book. Now we use two different books and if you don't see them here or you're, you don't wanna scroll through all the 200 and something texts that are up there, both of our textbooks for our math department use Larson. So I'm just gonna type in Larson in the search menu and then it pops up only these three, okay? Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna select the one that says, uh, for my course, because this is a college algebra co-rec, or if it was a college algebra standalone, I would need to select this top book with the green cover and the orange co-requisite support banner above it, okay? Again, for college algebra standalone and for college algebra co-rec and for pre-calculus, all three of those are going to be this book here, okay? If you're teaching one of the calculus sequences, then you're gonna wanna use this book here, which is the blue book, okay? Now, for us, because we are using Cengage Unlimited and we are tagging on the web assign, you will select one of the ones, because notice the calculus books have student purchase required and then inclusive access. You want to click student purchase required for both because on the back end they will um, have codes and things like that. So that will give them access into the um, to the platform. So I'm going to click link to course. Then I'm going to click um, link to an existing course. Now this I have been advised by Cengage that you cannot click on these three options up on top, they will cause problems. So you do have to have an existing web assigned course in order to link it, okay? Um, if you do not have a web assigned course to link to your Canvas course, you need to let me know ASAP. My email is j-l-o-p-e-z at alamo.edu. So if I type that in here, j-l-o-p-e-z at alamo.edu. That is my um, email up here in the top left, okay? So if you do not have a web assigned class, please email me as soon as possible so that way I can get a web assigned course to you. Um, you should already have one, but if you don't, contact me, I'll copy one over to you and then you can continue with this process, okay? So the only option we are allowed to select here on this menu is link to an existing course. Then you will see your courses here. Now you might not see the masters because you don't have access to those. Um, so you should still see the courses here. If you have multiple sections and you had not linked all of the sections yet, then you may see the multiple section numbers here, okay? I already linked my section 61, which is why it doesn't appear in this list, okay? So the only thing that will appear in the list is the stuff that has not been linked already. So I'm going to select my course, section 186. That's the course I wanna link my Canvas course to. So I'm gonna hit continue and the import is complete. So it will take me to uh, my modules, 
which is my default. So it takes me to my homepage, which is my default modules. And then this here is a link to the course. If I click it, it's literally going to take me here, okay? Um, I do not enable this for students to see. You could, but I personally do not. And I also personally do not prefer to have these labels of when I imported what. So I usually delete those labels as well, okay? That's just me. You can leave them there for reference purposes if you'd like, but I usually remove those labels. Now what I want to do is I want to actually do um, the integration on an assignment level, okay? So I'm going to click back to Cengage button, the Cengage tool, and it already has my homework platform here. I just need to uh, click where it says select content. So if I click on that, um, if you click this box here, all it's going to do is add another link like the one you just added. So it's not necessary to click that top uh, button. It's just a course link instead of the assignment links. So what I wanna do is I want to import the assignments. And I do want these to be added to my gradebook. So notice that when I'm checking the stuff on the left, it's automatically checking the stuff on the right. If for some reason you don't want an assignment to be logged into the gradebook, you can simply come over here and uncheck that box. Um, if you happen to add quizzes, inside WebAssign and they're not particularly for a grade, that would be an example when you would want to uncheck that box. But all of these are homework assignments and so I am going to um, enter them on in. And actually, I will mention it in just a moment. Actually, I do not want to include this into the gradebook because these things here that say 314 unit A in WebAssign, all it is, oh, I went to edit instead of preview. But all it is, is a link to that section in the workbook, okay? It's usually more for organizational purposes than it is an assignment, okay? So this is the assignment name. If I click on this, I will be able to download um, that part of the workbook for that course. Okay. And then the question that it asks is I'm aware that I can download the associated workbook file here because there does have to be a question in order for me to place this inside um, this list here inside WebAssign. So those are not really going to be for a grade. So those actually are the things that I would uncheck as far as adding it to the gradebook. So anything that's just a descriptor of what these assignments fall under. So all of these assignments, homeworks 9 through 12, fall under 314 unit C. Um, then this is unit 2, that's just a label. Unit D is just a label. Unit 3 is just a label. So I want to select them because I do want these labels, um, if you don't want the labels in, in your um, assignment, that's perfectly okay. You can remove it from here too. You don't have to upload it. Um, but if you are going to upload it, I would uncheck the gradebook box. Otherwise, they're going to get a homework grade just for clicking, um, clicking the assignment and then clicking yes. And that's all they're doing and it will give them a homework score. I mean, it's free 100s. If you wanna leave them in there, that's fine. I am not going to. So I will uncheck this from the readbook. And you don't have to do them all in one swoop. You can just, you know, upload some of them, upload the others, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, okay. I just decided to do all 62 assignments at the same time. And I'm also going to um, click on the ebook as well. Now, the ebook does come with an extra book and it's called um, Algebra Within Reach. And this is the remedial um, portion of the courses, but Everything, all these courses were used creating the um, 
prerequisite chapters. So you don't need to use this top book. It is great for a resource. If you want to have that available, you can check the box. But for the most part, all of the content inside WebAssign comes from the algebra and trigonometry book. So that's going to be the only ebook that I choose to uh, provide a link for. So I'm going to click that continue. And it might take a little while. It might even give me a little error message, but it's not actually an error. And, uh, and if it does do that, I'll show you what I mean. If it does not, then we'll go straight into what happens after you hit continue. So it does take a little bit because it is 62 links, 63s. Here we go. Failed to push content. Please try again later. It makes it appear as if there was an error. Okay. However, there is actually no error. So what I suggest is do not click continue again, or you will create a whole nother copy of every single assignment. So you have two copies of every single assignment. If you get that red message, and that red message only appears for me when I try to copy everything all at once. If I were to have copied each unit one at a time, select just unit five, hit continue, then come back to the Cengage button, upload unit two, hit continue, go back to the Cengage button. I could have played that game and I would have never seen that red um, failed icon. However, if you do receive the red failed icon because you uploaded or downloaded too many links, just go to the homepage. Again, do not click continue again. Just click on the homepage and you'll realize that it did in fact grade everything, okay? And so notice that it unpublished the items which I did not want it to create um, an assignment for. So notice that it's just a link to the assignment and it's not actually going to count it toward my grade because it doesn't even show it as a published assignment. Now, if I decide to publish it, I highly recommend that you, and I'll go back. Um, if I wanna publish this, I highly recommend that you click on, um, It should not still put it in the gradebook because it's in here as a link and not as a Canvas assignment, okay? So even though I've published all of these, they are only links to the assignment. They are not um, Canvas assignments for these labels now, okay? So they're just links. Once you create your modules, like you have module one, module two, module three, you can drag these up to whichever module you want. So for me, for instance, I like to put the getting started in WebAssign assignment inside my orientation module. So that way I know that they've accessed WebAssign, haven't had any technical issues getting in there and they can complete an assignment. It also shows them how to input things in web assignment, like fractions and exponents and stuff like that. So I will usually put this assignment, I'll drag it to my orientation, wherever my orientation is, okay? And again, I do not usually leave these labels on when I imported things. So I will delete that. Um, if you go to your assignments, you'll notice that everything's in here except for those labels, right? Because I unchecked the gradebook box. It only created links for those and nothing that would actually end up in the gradebook. And you can rename this. I don't know why it, it automatically has a default of tests, but you could say something like web assign homework assignments um, and save. And then later, once you have more groups in here, if you wanted to do your assignment groups by weight, you could say 20% for homework or whatever the percentage is for your course. Um, that's just managing Canvas. Um, so this is this is all of the assignments for the whole semester already in there. But that is it. That's all I had for you was just one, make sure that your WebAssign course has been created and you know the section numbers. Go to your, then two, go to your corresponding um, Canvas course. 
Enable the Cengage tool by clicking on Settings, Navigation, and pulling the Cengage um, tool up to the top to activate it. And then once you click on it, you click uh, Add the Homework Platform. Then you select the correct textbook that goes with whatever course it is that you're linking it to. Then you go back to the Cengage button and you click on Select Content. And then you select all of the items that you want to import. Any of those title assignments, you can always um, uncheck those from the gradebook so that it's only a link to it and not an actual grade. Or you can leave them as grades, it's up to you, okay? You have that option. But once you're finished with that, you're all done, okay? You can, you can drag these on into anything else you wanna drag them onto but I highly suggest that you go back to your settings before you publish your course, grab that Cengage tool and put it back down to disable it and hit save. That way the students don't see the Cengage button and they don't click on it and it doesn't take them just directly into WebAssign, okay? Or into their Cengage and then they have to look for WebAssign inside whatever textbooks they're using with Cengage Unlimited. So it, it's a little bit more um, a lengthy process to get to WebAssign if you leave that Cengage button up there. Whereas here, if they click on the assignment, um, it just says load in a new window. And once they load into a new window, they're in that assignment inside that particular WebAssign course. So this one, notice that it's telling me which course I'm in in section 182. And then it has the assignment right here they can fill it all out and then submit it. Now, just one thing about WebAssign in general, I'm not sure how much everyone knows about WebAssign, but you must submit an assignment at least once in order for it to populate a score in the Canvas gradebook or in WebAssign gradebook. The student must click submit assignment at least once. And anytime that they've made changes to their for instance, let's say I go through all of one through 13, I finish them all, I click submit assignment. If it happens to mark five of them wrong, I can go back and make changes to those five problems. Um, but so it tells me, no, this is wrong. I can go back and change this and I can submit this again. However, you need to be aware that the assignment settings for all of the web assign assignments is 10 submissions, okay? 10 submissions. So what that means is that the student will be able to click this submit answer 10 times per problem. If they do the whole assignment, and click submit assignment, what it does is it counts all of them get one submission. And so what I tell students, you need to either make a decision and either work on one problem 10 times or at least until you get it right, or work on the entire assignment, click submit, see how you do, make any changes to things that are wrong and then click submit assignment again. Um, just so that helps you keep track of how many submissions you used. You have 10 per problem. If you click submit assignment, it will use one submission for every problem. If you click submit answer, it only submits the response for that one question. So it makes it a little bit tricky because then question six could have, you know, two attempts already used, but question five could only have one attempt used. Question four could have no attempts used. Okay, so it gets a little confusing if you do it that way, but it is possible. Um, I just thought that that was worth mentioning. Another thing that I would also want to mention about WebAssign is that if you go to your communication, this has nothing to do with um, linking them, okay? But this is just something that I find helpful. If you go to select a particular class under communication, you want to click on settings and then you want to have private messages enabled and what that means is that 
when a student has a problem and next to it, it has an ask your instructor button, it sends you a private message, okay? The students can also click on the message icon or the communications icon and send you a message inside WebAssign. But what I find very helpful is to actually forward my messages to my email. And the email that I have assigned inside WebAssign is my ACES email. So that way I get all of those messages in my ACES um, account. And so now that's been set. And since I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for my other course so that it is done. But that does not happen automatically. So make sure that you do go to communications, select the course that you want to um, forward your messages to, and then click on forward. Now, most people, if not everyone, um, uses their uh, alamo.edu email here. If you have a different email up here, when you log in, that's the email that they're gonna forward those messages to. So if you wanna fix this, you probably need to go to your um, profile or your options or somewhere so that you can edit that email that is tied to your um, WebAssign account. Okay, I think that is it. It's a pretty lengthy video already, um, but for the most part, we've covered everything on how to link it. It's not too complicated, but if you do run into issues, you can always email me, jlopez at alamo.edu. WebAssign is really great at undoing any boo-boos we might <laughs> have caused along the way. Um, so if you do make a mistake when trying to import Call me first just so I can verify that it's not something that we can undo ourselves. Um, and if it's not, then we can submit a uh, ticket to Cengage so that they can fix it on their end if it's something that we are not able to do on ours. Um, one last thing before I let you go is once you've um, linked a course, a web assigned course to your Cengage course, not only can you no longer link that course to any other course, but now when you go to edit class settings, you can no longer delete that course. So down here, normally in a regular web assign course, you have the option of trashing this class or saving whatever changes you've made. But for this particular um, course, what we want to do is um, just be aware that you will no longer have the, the uh, accessibility to delete that course. So if after the semester is over, or if you changed your schedule at the end, um, let us know so that way we can put in a Cengage ticket so that that course can get deleted inside WebAssign. Um, and it can get unlinked from whatever Canvas shell you put it in. Um, that cannot be done on our end as instructors. It does have to be done um, at the company level, okay? But other than that, I hope you guys found this video um, informative and helpful. And again, my email is jlopez at alamo.edu if you need me with assistance for any of this. Um, other than that, you guys have a great day.